Hello, good evening, and welcome to EEZY, Easy FM 107.5. My name is Mike Egan, and I'd like to invite you to stay with me for the next hour or so, so we can share and engage in a conversation with someone I consider a very rare gem as a composer, singer, arranger, and an entertainer. This gentleman developed his interest in the world of music at a very tender age of four years. He is one of the very few whose deep interest in music was as serious as his burning desire to study and delve into his classroom work and studies. Today he holds a Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture. He is also a BA Honours degree holder in Communication. This is the man who is music, ideas and experience you and I will be sharing tonight. My pleasure and privilege to welcome the highlight virtuoso Ben Bracco. Oh, thank you, Uncle Mike. <laughs> Everybody says Uncle Mike. Call me Mike. Okay. It's difficult for that one. Try. Right. You know, when we were coming down to your place for this discussion, I was thinking of my name, which I think the origin is John. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a corrupted name by now, but by having Michael Egan. I was wondering what your name stands for to Ben Bracco. Can you tell us a bit about your name?
let's have a break again and have a spot of music. And again, this is one of the people that I like and you like. And I think my producer, he said, we also likes his music, the CK Man. Oh, CK Man. Sounds like a song, yes. And Matt Rabwa. So wonderful. Yes.
you are tuned to Easy FM 107.5 and you are watching and listening to In a Conversation with me, Mike Egan. I've been talking to Mr. Ben Brago, the highlight virtuoso. But luckily, sitting next to me in the studio is his wife, Dr. Effie Duncan Brago. Madam Effie, how is it to be married to a man so popular and so handsome? <laughs> Well, you know what, it's two-sided. You get all the good vibes from him. And then sometimes, you know, because he's so popular, you get a lot of people, just like jealousy. But on the whole, he's a good man. And I love him. I'm sure he's in love with you too. He is too. <laughs> yeah, but how, do you, how does he marry his... his business as a musician entertainer on stage and the other qualifications that he has education and academician as an agriculturist and then a consultant in communication how is he able to marry all this plus being married to such a beautiful woman <laughs> he's an all-round man you know he's able to do all of it and nothing faces him, nothing stops him. He's able to combine every little section of his life and make it one piece. And he does a very great job. Does he have a temper? No. Has he I'm, I'm, I'm the one who has a temper and he tries to calm me all the time. He's look, very calm. You don't look like You don't? No. <laughs> Should I try it? No. <laughs> I'm the one with the temper and he is very calm. Sometimes I complain, I'm like, why are people walking all over you? But he is just calm. Mm. Very, very calm. The calmest person I've ever met. What's his favorite dish in the house? Oh, he loves everything I cook. Because I'm a good cook. He loves everything I make. But let me see if I can get his favorite. There are too many of them. Uh, fufu na benkoi. No, he doesn't love fufu that much. Maybe banku and okro. Mm. Mm -hmm. He loves banku and okro. Still. And what else? Does he eat junk food? No, I won't let him. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I cook all the time. So, he, he likes shrimps, fish. Mm. Any seafood, he's okay with it. Not a lot of meat. He's not like a vegetarian or anything or doesn't eat meat. He does, but just a little bit of it. You say he's a very calm man, but very. everybody has a weakness. Mm -hmm. What is his weakness? Uh, loving you too much. Loving me too much. <laughs> loving me too much. Uh, it makes me feel happy. Mm -hmm. It makes me, I always tell him, you make me feel like a natural woman. That's the Aretha uh, Franklin, isn't it? That's it. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, but he, he is good. He's a good man. Thank you so much. Good to have you as my guest, in addition to your husband. I want the best of two worlds today. Thank you, Uncle Mike. Special. <laughs> Still listening to Easy FM 107.5 and the program in a conversation with me, Mike Giga. Luckily this evening, I'm, in the, I'm at the residence of Mr. Ben Barton, the Highland Virtuoso, and I'm lucky to have with me, still, his cousin, who is also a seasoned broadcaster. And I would like to find out from her what he knows and remembers much of Ben Barton. And her name is Doris Ansa Ampau. Tell us about Ben. He's your cousin. He's my cousin, yes. He, he got into music at the age of four. Yeah, he started. Have you known him to be that way all these years? Yes, especially when he got to SS, that is the secondary school, SHS is called now. Mm. And uh, he was doing the pop chains at St. Augustine's and things like that. And I actually even got to know how much of a musician he is at the university. He was in a group, I've forgotten the name of the group, and they had weekend jams, and there was Ben on stage. I think the group was known as something we we'll, would we'll do or about. B.B., some name B. Yeah. You know, and I said, oh, could that be my cousin? And truly, he is my cousin, and he was up there. 
entertaining us with his sweet voice and charming the women. <laughs> <laughs> Which of his records that appeal to you most? Mary Magruti. I think that's one of the most popular ones on top top of it all. Mary Magruti, that's that's my favorite. Mm. You know, for me it's loaded. But as as a person, what is his character like? Oh Ben is Ben is a very nice person. Calm. There are times when you expect him to be angry and he's, he takes things easy, he takes things in his stride and um, what can I say? What can I say about his character? He's charming, he's fun when he wants to be. <laughs> Sometimes if you're not careful you'll think he's quiet, but really he's not, then he's not a quiet person. But generally to sum up his character, I think he's human. I'm very humane in it, his ways. Is there anything that will irk him if one did it at the wrong time? Incidentally, no. No, because he knows how to control himself and he takes, he takes life very easy. So nothing really gets him. I mean, situations come up and when we are blowing our top, he's just sitting there with a little smile on his face and he has a way of calming you down. So I really can't pinpoint what really, really irks him. No. Count. How, how is he able to combine his academic successes with his entertainment life? I, I personally think that the academic successes have, it actually has pushed him to, to, to bounce on the entertainment circle. I mean, looking at his background as an agriculturist, can you imagine mm. turning to music, farmer turned music, musician, it's, it's, it's funny, but uh, He's able to do it. He's able to juggle everything together and make things easy for him and for people around him. He's quite an affable person to live with and very calm person. To, you actually enjoy his company at any given time. What is the one thing that you think you will you remember him by as long as you live your life? I'll always remember him as, as a cousin who I love very I love very much. And as, as a man who is charmed <laughs> by women, I mean, <laughs> honestly, he, women like him. Men like him, but the women more like him. And I'll always know him as somebody, a man of penal. <laughs> and what do you tell his wife if she should be mm. a little unhappy with the kind of relationship that Ben develops with the female? Mm. Oh, but she knew before she married him. <laughs> <laughs> she knew before she married him. She knows that Ben is a, a woman's man because um, women like to be around him by virtue of his aura, you know. And she's able to manage it and cope with it. She's also fun loving herself, so she can understand and appreciate it. Doris, thanks so much for sharing your experience with Ben with us. Thank you much so much. Thank you. So it's good talking to you. Thank you. <laughs>
And we used to do shows. We used to, he would come to London and then we, we'd do that, that kind of thing. Uh, I used to live in his house, uh, mm -hmm. you know, even in Toronto. So we were very, very close. But um, I just, I think that he has a fantastic voice. Not only that, he's a great composer, you know, and he talks about things that are meaningful to Ghanaians. And for me, his all time best track is Sika Emoja. You know, Sika Emoja touches everybody because even the, 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 the theme of the song is, is very, uh, makes a lot of sense traditionally, you know. So, um, Parties for me, you know, one of the great icons of my life. Let's hear his Sukai Mboja, which happens to be my favorite as well. Oh, wow. So, okay. Together, let's enjoy Pat Thomas and Sukai Mboja. Okay. Sika ye moja, 
Oh 